Hi, Alan Hadley with My Photo Networks. Thanks for joining me for this next video tutorial. Today, we're going to build a shoot-through diffuser reflector. We're going to be working with PVC, ripstop nylon, and Velcro. This reflector is really simple to build, and every photographer can use it. If you shoot with off-camera flash or ambient light, this reflector will come in handy just about any time that you shoot. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do first is actually look at the materials that we're going to use to build this shoot-through reflector diffuser. The first thing is our ripstop nylon. Now, this is a really simple, very pliable material that you can get at any fabric store. I happened to buy this fabric at Joann's Fabrics, and it's very, very inexpensive. It's about $2 a yard, okay? And the size that we're going to be working with today is actually a 30 by 40 size, and we'll get into the details of how that uh, size is going to apply to our 24 inch by 36 inch uh, shoot through diffuser you know when we get to that point so the other thing that we're going to be using is PVC this is 3 quarter inch standard PVC you can buy it at any home store it's very inexpensive in fact a 3 quarter by 10 foot piece of this is only a dollar 19 cents so you, as you can see so far we're less than five dollars in building this so it's very inexpensive. Then we're going to be working with four individual L bolts, as you can see here. Um, what we're going to actually do is glue one side of the elbow and leave the other side blank so that we can pull it apart and make it portable. The next thing we're going to use is the actual PVC uh, cement, which is actually very, very strong. Once you uh, put that on and connect the PVC, it's not going to come off. We also need a pair of scissors and a standard pair of scissors will work. There's no special scissors and a box of Velcro. Now, as you can imagine, this is a whole box of Velcro. This is actually 15 feet of Velcro. Our actual construction of this diffuser is only going to require a couple of inches of Velcro in different places to be able to put it all together. So by purchasing a box, you can make several of these diffusers. Now, with that said, that's all the materials that we actually need to build this. So let's move on to our next step. Okay, in this first detail shot, what I want to explain is how you actually connect the elbow to one of the rails or this what I would call a style um, or top of this actual diffuser. This elbow simply just fits right on to this and you can twist it until it stops. Now, as you notice, I didn't put any glue on this. For this demonstration, we're not going to actually use the glue. Um, I just want to show you how this actually goes together. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do at this point is basically take our elbows and connect them to all of our pieces. And as you can see, it's opposite for each one. I have one at the bottom, one on the left, one at the top. So all of this fits together. So essentially what we do at this point is just connect all of these. Now what you want to do is set this down and just make sure that each piece is flat and it's nice and flat. We're going to connect each corner. And once you get this all connected, you can adjust everything so that it's nice and flat, straight. And the best thing to do is lay it on the table and just see how it's actually set. You can see how it'll lay nice and flat. So that's our overall size. It's a 24 inch by 36 inch. All right, in our next step, what we want to do is take our rib stop, stop nylon and actually lay it out on a flat surface as you see here. We take our frame and actually lay it right on top of the rib stop nylon. Now what we're doing is actually figuring out how much of the ripstop nylon that we want to wrap onto our frame. And what I've done is leave about uh, an inch and a half on each side of the frame, okay, because basically what's going to happen is, is this side's going to come up in Velcro just like that. The top has about two inches, which is actually going to more than likely be cut off, but that's all based on how far you push this frame forward or backward. As you can see, we have a lot more room down here. But what I recommend is to leave about two inches on the top and two inches on the bottom. So what we're going to do is take a Sharpie, as you can see here, and a, a ruler, and we're simply going to measure from this down about two inches. Okay? 
which is about right here. So I'm just going to put a mark right there, all right? And that's just going to tell me how much of my rib stop that I need to actually cut off to uh, be able to attach it to our frame. Okay, what I want to do is show you a little bit of the detail, the type of, of actual Velcro that we're using. Uh, we have the hook and the loop right here, which is the male and the female side. And what we're going to do is choose one of these two, it doesn't really matter which, that's going to actually be connected to our ribstop nylon and one piece will be connected to our PVC. What we've done is actually cut our Velcro into little three inch strips and one is going to actually fit right onto the PVC as you see here, just like that. And then the other piece is actually going to fit right onto our ripstop nylon. And as you can see here, I have three of each. Okay, what I want to show you is uh, how this is actually connecting. Now this is industrial Velcro, so it's extremely sticky. And what I'm doing is placing this edge in the center of my PVC and then literally wrapping it around so that when we pull this up and over, it's going to pull tight. Okay, what we're doing now is showing you in actual detail after we've attached the uh, uh, ribstop nylon to the top of our frame, uh, we're actually cutting our corner out so that we can wrap the edges once we attach the bottom part of the frame. Now, what we've done is actually draw a yellow line right here that we can use as a guide for our corner. And as you can see, she's starting to um, actually cut that. And as you can notice here, what we've done is make sure that these lines are right where our elbows start and end. That way when we wrap this, it'll be nice and clean. This is a detail shot of how this rip stop nylon actually wraps the PVC and connects to the Velcro. And as you can see, what we've done is cut the Velcro in half so that we can pull it tighter. And as you can see here, it's nice and tight. And now all we have to do is connect our side pieces. This is the detail of actually showing you how this Velcro is attached. Now, what we're doing is putting this Velcro about an inch and a half from the end and placing the vertical side of the Velcro in the middle of the pipe so that it actually wraps around the pipe so that when we pull our ripstop nylon up, it's going to pull tight. And as you can see, after we've connected the ripstop nylon to all the PVC, we have our completed shoot-through diffuser reflector. This can be used not only to reflect light, or you can shoot something through it, and as you can see on the back, all of our Velcro stripping, and it's nice and tight. It's very simple to make. You can hang it on a light stand with a um, clamp, with some type of a clamp, and you can use your off-camera flash with it very easily, or diffuse light from the sun or any other source. I've included a materials list of everything that you'll need to be able to purchase and build this shoot through diffuser and reflector. You will need a one uh, three quarter by 10 foot PVC pipe, four three quarter inch elbows, one 30 inch by 40 inch ripstop nylon, a three foot by two inch Velcro, and PVC glue. The total cost to purchase and build this is $15. That concludes this video tutorial on building the shoot through diffuser reflector. As you can tell through this video, it's very simple, very cost effective, and you can build it yourself. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial, and I look forward to our next.